Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSize Studio, and welcome back to your 27th, I think. Yeah, 27th Java programming tutorial. So, if you guys deleted your code from the last tutorial, just copy it down. Here's the first class right here, so just pause your video. And here's the second class right here. Um, I probably shouldn't have highlighted that there. Pause it now. <laughs> so, yeah, once you got that copied down and everything, um, in the last tutorial, we tried to access this private string over here. So, if we tried to print out private name, t dot private name, we got this error because we can't access private variables from uh, another class unless we do this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a getter. Now we've already used this, but I didn't really tell you guys what it was used for. Um, so let's just make one. <clears throat> so we're going to use public access because we want to be able to use it in another class. So we're going to say public um, string because we want to return our string private name. So it's going to have a return type public. And we should put static. There we go, Anthony. Static because we're using it in the main method. Finally caught myself there. Public static string. And then we're going to use get private name. <clears throat> I'm gonna put down our brackets and as you can see we got an error because we need to return something we need to return this private name private name so now that we have this public getter and they call it a getter in Java because uh, and you always use this um type of what do they call it I don't know this type of syntax they always put get and then they put the variable name um, just to make it kind of clear what they're trying to get. Um, it's called a getter because of get, and then they have a setter because it's set in front of the private name. Um, yeah, maybe I should put a setter too. Yeah, I'll make a setter as well. Um, just to, so you guys get the whole kind of, the whole kind of thing here. So we're going to make a public static void um, set private name. So we did this in the other tutorial. This is the exact same thing. I'm just kind of telling you why it's used. And um, so in here, we're going to have to put parameters because we want to be able to set the value of the private name. Um, so we're going to put a string, um, string s, whatever you want to call it. And then we're just going to set whatever we pass into this method to private name. So we're going to say private name is equal to s. Um, so as you can see, we have a setter right here, and then we have a getter. So we can then, this is the only possible way of accessing a private variable from another class. So yeah, this is the only way, unless you make a public, which is bad programming practice. Uh, so don't do it. Don't get into bad habits. Uh, people will chirp you on forums and stuff. If you post your code up and you got public uh, variables all over the place, they'll be like, oh, you're doing it wrong, and they'll, so yeah, they'll start chirping you, so don't do it. Um, so yeah, let's just go like this. We're going to go t.set private name, and we're going to set it to something. We'll set it to Anthony. It's not a very private name. You guys probably know that by now, because I say it every tutorial. Um, and then we're just going to s out um, t dot get private name. There you go. So yeah, so far we got t dot set private name, and we're setting our um, private variable here, private name, to Anthony, and then we're just t dot get private name. Uh, so we're just basically going and getting that variable and then printing it out. So if we run this right here, we get Anthony. Um, so I'll just go over the code one more time. So over here we have two strings. We have name and private name. And we didn't use name, so we could just get rid of that. All right, so we made one string actually. We made it private. We made it have private access, so we can only use it within this class unless we make a getter method. Um, so right here we just made a setter which basically allows um, a value to be passed to our private string. And uh, it basically sets it equal to whatever we pass through this method. And then here we made a 
uh, method to get the actual private string um, from another class. So if that didn't make any sense, please uh, message me if you guys don't under understand anything. Um, so yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.